damage on those long range threats. Yeah, Kid as well has picked up his first mage right. And Rookie going in, ults him back. That's beautiful play now. Raphael in trouble. Gets knocked the black account. He's taking so much damage as he going through. Cataclysm for the kill. Back and get the Baron later on. No need to push that advantage. Well, Faker says otherwise. <laughs> okay. right. He wants Huni. He takes him down. Tango with the Nunu Maoka and Death does have good damage already. And once he goes down, well, the next guy just enters with even more damage, honestly, and ends up cleaning house. Lilo and Koro still staying alive. He's got to feel good. It's, he's making the moves because he's feeling that way. Nithy barely avoided it. Link took so many hits from that Azir turret, though, that he did enough to spread up the team. Look how much control over the battlefield Azir just brings to the team. Right. Not only has he... And if they were nervous about the fans last time a little bit, they got to be nervous about against this lead of SKT. That last outer tier turret goes down, and they now have their eyes only set on the base. He ever him off the wall. He can't get through the gate. Faker, Faker, play maker. Coming up big. Uh, the soccer play from high. Oh. We're going again. Right on to dominate. They burned the list. Oh, Ooh, and oh, it was the heal. He tried to get the triumphant roar out, but the follow-up is too much coming in from Liquid. They're still going on the fight now. Lemonation's going to go down. A triple kill. That's the blood boil of Azir coming through, baby. And they're going to hit him. Oh, of course, Quas has the blood boil, but Quadra for Phoenix. With this Baron buff. Yeah, this Baron buff being used to great effect. As Dade's just going to get destroyed. Turns golden just to talk about how pretty wow. he is, but that outplay was amazing! The Empress Divide to come through to turn it all around, and Dade, what a player! How's mid lane now? So. How's this for a, a mid lane substitute? TDK have Alex Siege, now Bishu, all these mid lane substitutes always working out just in range for the knockup. Knocks him back right away. Phoenix. Will they actually be able to take this fifth Baron? Well, this is very far away as well. And Dragon, it feels like Baron Buffett's gonna go down quickly. Vi gonna look for it, but Kid's gonna get it. And IG are just gonna explode now. Acorn in the back line, gonna get DPS down. Rookie just going in so aggressive. Kakao, Pokemon even running through as well. Imp is trying to cut, but he's got nowhere to go. Kakao goes in. There's the triple kill actually coming through for Rookie. Can he make it a quadra? Does do so there. And that's a 5-0 fire for IG. And they're in a bad position now, though, from the looks of it. Yeah, amazing, Jay. Wow. Of course, there's the flank from Clearlove. Wants to find the knockup. Empress Divide going to get Amazing Jay out of there as he flashes. There's the Nar ultimate into the wall. Dandy going to be the first to fall, but a double kill for her tongue. Death gets headbutted under the sun turret, oh, and he's going to die from that one alone. Quadro kill for her tongue as he tears apart EDG. Penta kill for the Azir. Damage half the health of Insect, who's now going to be teleporting in. The, the onslaught of shadows could be available, but he bounces into the wall over and over again. He's tanking up this turret. Oh my goodness, Barker wishes he had some more mana so that he could finish off that silly horse. Since uh, Zion was building for his one versus one impact, Whee! nice. Oh, it's not gonna matter, he's way faster. They're gonna get it down. Oh no, it does matter! The dark passage to the light. What a savior. Oh, knocked all the way back. Impact not getting the situation he wanted from start to finish.